Hello, my name is Leo Perez, and this quick tutorial is going to be sending, uh, exporting textures from Substance Painter into Unity. So just to make it quick, we're going to just export the blade instead of all these other things. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to File, you're going to go to Export Textures. Um, and as far as materials go, the Blend 1 and Blend 2 are the other, are the, are everything but the blade. So uh, I'm just going to have uh, the Lambert 1 selected, which is the, the blade. So here what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to export uh, with uh, ambient occlusion. So you need to uh, kind of customize the texture. Uh, so what you're going to do, you're going to go to here. I think it's going to be <clears throat> uh, Unity Universal Pipeline Metallic. Since the, the blade is uh, primarily metallic, it has no actual specularity. So select that. And then you're going to click uh, this uh, icon here, which uh, duplicates it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to drag the ambient occlusion. Uh, actually, what you're going to first do is uh, duplicate one of one of one of these parameters, and it's going to look like this. It's going to it's going to uh, 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 get you another one. Rename it. It's going to be AO uh, as it is here. And then you're just gonna what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag and drop on top of uh, top of where it says RGB, and it's gonna give you an option like this. And since ambient occlusion is uh, black and white, you're gonna go, just click gray channel, and then it'll essentially just it'll you'll look like this. It'll turn to this light purple. Um, so when you go back to settings, um, <clears throat> go to uh, Lambert, and then select where uh, select the template. Uh, and then it's going to be, you can have it be PNG or TIFF. Let's just leave it at PNG and it could be eight bits or 16 bits. I'll leave it at 16 bits, uh, and uncheck emissive or emission. Sorry. Uh, you don't need, you don't need that map, uh, keep everything else checked and then just, uh, click export and it's done. Okay. Now we're going to go into unity and then we're going to put in our, uh, the model, go to assets go to import new asset and just find wherever it is that your model is uh, either OBJ or FBX. And as I said, in previous tutorials, uh, FBX is what you're going to want to export your model as, uh, or it's the preferred way to do it uh, from Maya. So right here I have it blade low. And now since it has three different parts, it'll come kind of packaged. So you just hit, click this arrow. Um, and you'll see everything that came with it along with the materials and the parts. Um, so what you're going to want to do, here has a hierarchy. You could click and drag on the hierarchy and okay. And just drag it from here. Click on mark here the model, hit F, frame it. Uh, we don't need these two parts, so you can just go to handle, handle low, and just uncheck right here to hide them. All right, and then we're, we're now we're gonna want to create a new material. So because you, you don't need the blends and the Lamberts because that's a material from Maya. So you could just right click here, go to create and go to material. If I could find it, here we go, material and just rename it, um, this blade. All right, and now to uh, import uh, textures, it's going to be the same. So you're going to right, right click here under the project or uh, under this uh, window, um, click import new asset. Okay, and now just select. Now what you're going to want to do after importing the, the textures, just drag the new material onto the mesh, and then you're going to start plugging in uh, all these uh, maps. First thing you want to do, uh, uh, click the normal map, and you see by default the texture type is going to be set is going to be well, it's going to be set to default. Uh, you want to set it to normal map. All right. Um, and click apply and now you should be good to go. So now click on the, the mesh. So I click on the material and all you're going to drop it into the corresponding, um, uh, 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 parameters. So albedo, uh, is another word for color map or just the, the yeah, the regular, uh, uh, diffuse map. So you're going to use drag and drop it in there. You see it changes into um, what you want. Let's let's brighten up the light a little bit. 
intensity. Let's let's take it to five plus four, just just so you guys can see. Um, let's click it again. Click the material. Uh, and then normal map. Just drag and drop here. Uh, metallic. Right here. And then occlusion. Ambient occlusion will go under occlusion. And that's and that's it. That you're done. Everything is uh, plugged in. The maps are plugged in. Good to go. You see the metallic uh, shine, and you see the the normal map, the bump features. So uh, that's pretty much all you really need to do. It's just pretty simple plug and play. So uh, yeah. Uh, and if you need any further assistance, uh, just make sure to let me or any of the other tutors know. And have a great day.